Alrighty, so we're just recording our um, cookie do session and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back one step. So we've got cookiedo.com.au. Um, if you're not already a user, you can do a 30-day free trial. So cookiedo.com.au, please make sure you go to the Australian one because it's not going to work very well if you hook up to the American one. Um, so do your 30-day free trial and then with the TM6, you get six months for free. After that, if you're loving Cookie Do and all the features it gives you, which one of my favourites is the shopping list function, then you can choose to increase, um, you can choose to renew for 12 months. It's just $69 and we get heaps of features. And we're going to cover some of the basics as well as how to um, how to convert your own recipes and use some of your favourite recipes in Cookie Do and on your TM6 screen. So let's have a look. And if you have a TM5, you can use Cookie Do through your cook key, um, but you just can't do the created recipes. So we'll cover both tonight. Um, and um, in your profile, which is what we were just looking at, just wanted to make sure everyone knows that you can set your default so that you can see more than just 3,000 recipes. Now, the way I've done it is I've ticked English and I've deselected every other country. So I've got no countries ticked. That means it's going to pull English from everywhere all over Cookie Do. Um, the only disclaimer there that I'll add here is when you're looking at collection, so the cookbooks, it'll show you every country because collections, um, yeah, it'll just show every country. So if you don't want to see every country's collections when you're doing a search, then please just select the countries that you do want to see that have English. So I'll choose UK, US. Um, if you're happy with answers, choose US. If you don't want answers um, in your shopping list, don't select the US. Your Thermomix will convert to ounces, um, which is very handy, but your shopping list will, <laughs> will be, might be a little problem there. Um, also selecting countries like Switzerland, Malaysia, and some other countries that might have some English in there, you could select those. Um, or you could be like me and just select English and don't choose any country and, and Cookie Do will, will choose. Um, all of the English from all across um, Cookie Do, and I'll show you what that looks like. So we're going to hit um, our search button, or you could hit Explore, and you'll notice on mine I've got 9,463 recipes available. That's because my default filter is set to all English. <laughs> Yours might be a different number depending on what you've chosen. Plus, you might know another language, so you could always select that, like Italian, Greek, um, and, and Chinese, and that will also have recipes in that language. That was your default filter, which means um, that's what it will go to when you first open up Cookie Do. Um, but our filter over here for, for um, individual searches is super duper handy. And we'll look at that in a moment as well. First of all, we'll do a search, uh, just a real basic search. And you could search either an ingredient or a meal that you might like to make. Um, feel free to shout out if you've got an ingredient you'd like to use uh, or search for, or if you'd like a meal that you'd like to look for. Otherwise I'll randomly pick something. <laughs> Anything? What? A okay, let's search, let's search um, zucchini because we've got zucchini to use up. Zucchini, if I can spell it, yep. So say you've got an ingredient that you need to use up, you could type it in. Otherwise, if you have something like a meal that you want to make, like Asian food or Mexican or Sancho Bao, something you actually know, you could actually type that in and look for it too. Just check the chat box. Chili. Oh, sorry. Let's look up chili then. Sure. <laughs> All right. Jamie said chili. So I've typed the word chili in and now you can see different options and that looks amazing. But imagine if you're sitting there thinking, I wanna make chili and I don't wanna see any of the condiments. I want a main meal and I don't wanna scroll through 1400 things. So let's click on filters. 
And that's when the filter, the individual search filter is gonna be handy. So for instance, if you know you want something with, to use up chilies and you want vegetarian main and maybe vegetarian meat as well, and you don't want pasta, if you did, you'd tick it. <laughs> and let's just leave it at that. So we've kind of cut the results down in half a quarter already. Um, we're just going to see main dish is meat, main dish veg, something with chili. Um, imagine if you don't want to look through 600 recipes, you can go back in your filters and go even further. So you might say, you know what, I want to make dinner really quickly tonight. I'm going to look for the less than 15 minute ones. And I don't want a two hour dinner, uh, but a 45 minute one's okay because I don't mind if Thermomix stirs for me. And I don't mind how many portions, but I really want it to be tasty. So I'm going to tick the four stars and the five stars and you can see how many results there. Um, so from the 600 that we did have just before, we've now got 140, um, which is better. <laughs> it's still actually a lot, isn't it? A few double ups because I've got all my countries with English set up. Set up. Um, and then you can just have a little scroll. And I usually find something at, in the first page that I'm happy to make. Um, but you can scroll down and see something that might tempt you. And if you do find something, so for instance, for me, this one looks yummy. You can click on it and um, there we go. And it's 4.2 stars and it's meeting all the criteria that we selected. You can you can scroll down and make sure you like the ingredients and um, steps. Um, and I like to even, see, and you can see the tags that were in this recipe that would bring this recipe up. You might even like to click on one of the tags and see what else is classed as Mexican or, or you know. So, and I like to scroll down and see which book it was from. So this was from Plant-Based Kitchen. Could even click on that and see what else is in the book. So as you can see, Cookie Do is a bit of a rabbit hole <laughs> for recipe lovers. So from here, I'm going to click add and I might add it to my shopping list so that I can shop for it later. I might add, you could add it to a collection. You could add it to vegetarian mains or Mexican or, you know, something like that. You can create your own collection. You can add it to your week, pop it in there. So might pop it in next month and might randomly put it on Wednesday for now. So this is pretty much what you would start to do. Um, and again, if you had something else that you needed to look up, so say you really want some breakfast ideas, you could type in breakfast and um, you could be like, I want to ch change things up at breakfast time. Um, this one looks good, four stars. I'm going to just add that to my week. Uh, we might pop it in tomorrow and save. Um, you know, so you can browse that way, sweet breakfast bread. But again, um, you could use your filters and narrow down again. So if you don't want like, a, a, oh, let's have a look. So you could do starters or mm, you might actually want a smoothie. You could click drinks and then that will show up all the breakfast type drinks. Um, so yeah, lots of ideas. If you're looking for a smoothie, grab and go breakfast drink, protein shake, um, green smoothie, hot chocolate, <laughs> protein shake again. Click on it. This one might be an American one. We'll see. Oh, yep, ounces. And again, if you didn't want any ounces to come up, you could get rid of America from your default. Um, so there we go. You can then add to your collection. So we'll click add to collection. And I'm just going to scroll down to my breakfast. So you can have up to 100 collections. I'm going to add that one in there. And then I'll show you how to find your collections. So that was just a sec, love. I'll print it out in about half an hour. All right. So in your collections, um, here we can see all of them listed on the left hand side here if you click on created it'll be the collections that you've created so it'll be um 
air fryer um what else is there birthday parties um just a sec gotta get out of my events that i've got at the top there so look biscuits um breakfast bliss balls um you can create whatever type of collection you want i've got christmas day christmas gifts um so during the year whenever i see something that i like the look of i add it to my christmas gift folder and then it, when it's christmas i just choose a few of them add them to my shopping list and away i go so you can create anything i've got another big one here condiments so whenever you see something you want to save you can add it to your own collections and they will sit there and they will sit on your thermo mix as well you can find them there even without if your wi-fi goes down you'll always have your your collections oh i've got 44 recipes in my desserts <laughs> all right and over here to the right hand of of the lists you'll hit click on that and that says saved so that's actually cookbooks that you've saved so i'm going to click on this one everyday cooking with thermomix and that will show me the actual cookbook that i've saved if you're wanting to so they're also will be viewable on your tm6 and tm5 cook key um so they're called saved collections they're all the cookbooks now just so you know actually we better just search for a collection too because we were searching just before via recipe you can click on that drop down tab on your computer ipad or phone or tm6 and you can actually search by collection and as i mentioned before because i've got no country selected all country collections come up on mine um so we could and that's what my default is set to i'm just going to search here we could do why don't we type in chili again <laughs> so i've typed in the word chili and things with chili in them or um ones that have popped up for chili they are showing there i might do something else gluten free just for a bit better example if you type in gluten free and you're looking via collections you will see the gluten free collections now some of them will be double ups because um and uh, they might have similar collections in different countries but they're often slightly different even if they look similar but what i wanted to say is notice that some of them have really plain font and then you'll see one like this that has a little bit different it's got the thermomix logo as well if you if you see um them with plain font it means that it's just a mini collection these ones we release about once a month a new collection and sometimes twice we get a new mini collection um you can hit save and save it onto your thermomix as well um and the, the benefit of saving it onto your thermomix is just if wi-fi goes down you've still got access or if you've got poor wi-fi in your area i'd save them then you've got access to them really easily don't have to rely on wi-fi so that's a mini collection eight recipes they all look amazing but if you go into one of the books that's got a bit different font and it's got the thermomix logo that means it's a full cookbook and it's likely to have around 100 recipes so that's the difference if you're wondering why some of the books you look up only have a few recipes it's because it was an e like an ebook like a mini collection on a certain topic um so hopefully that helps you with the, the idea around collections there um if there are any questions please um shout out or pop them in the chat box at this point because next i want to have a quick look at my week the shopping list and then we'll go on to created recipes which is the more advanced side of things now i was a little bit ambitious i've put all these in i didn't get around to having a, my cooking day today um and um so i didn't make these ones <laughs> instead i made my i did make this thai beef salad and did some rice and veggies as well but i'm hoping to put these on and cook these tomorrow not all of them <laughs> i was a bit ambitious but i'm going to be cooking a couple of these tomorrow have an event to take them to i've got a few things in here as well that i'm hoping to make this week and depending on how you like to get organized i'm going to delete that one because i've now done it today 
depending on how you like to get organized um, you might put them in and really stick to the day that you put them in or you might move things around a bit um, or you might just go up to your thermomix and type in something you feel like eating and cooking it then and there and not even plan so it's perfect for whatever type of person you are and also what type of person you'd like to aspire to be <laughs> um, remember we can look at the different view if we're wanting to see recipes that we plan to do in in the past we just need to click the calendar you can do this on your tm6 and in cookie do so we change from list view to calendar view and now you can go backwards in time and i'm often ambitious with what i pop in I also cook with clients as well. So there's often um, lots of things in here. And sometimes I don't get around to them and that's when I'll grab them and I'll put them into the future if I'm really keen to do them. Um, but you can scroll back even back to Christmas and see what you made at Christmas time if you program them. And at the end of the year, um, if you allow Cookie Do to, to track your cooking, then um, you get to see what your most cooked things were and the most and all different uh, stats from your cooking throughout the year. That is your calendar. So whichever view you like to look at, um, calendar or list view. And then when you want to uh, send your recipes, your ingredients to the shops or to cook, uh, sorry, or to shop by yourself, you just hit your shopping cart um, icon on your phone app or press um, shopping list on your computer like we just did and what I tend to do first is just check by recipe before going to the category section so by recipe means you can double check you've got the right recipes in your shopping list yep we've got that one that one and that one I've got the Thai beef so I'm going to remove that you can even add extra things down the bottom here as well like um, apples or cucumbers um things that you need you can add them to your shopping list and then if you're happy with the things that are in your shopping list just hit by category and then tick off the things you have so um some oil we're going to tick that one off and then tick off i've got mustard i've got olives i've got um i'm going to use fresh sweet corn tomato paste i have um, and just go through and tick the things you've got because before you know it, you'll probably have half the things and you won't need to um, actually get very much at all. Uh, that lettuce, uh, yeah. So that's, you know, um, I could go, um, go through there, make sure you check your pantry and your fridge first, then take your phone app um, to the shops and tick them off if you're going shopping by yourself or hit order ingredients if you're wanting to send it to Woolworths. Um, so this is super handy if you like to get delivery from Woolworths, then your ingredients come, you can be super organized and save lots of time. I tend to just use my shopping list from my phone while I'm at the shops. Um, you could even share it, print it, email it, text it to a partner or store or um, family member. Um, or get them to have the app on their phone <laughs> and then they can see the shopping list there. So super duper handy, um, saves lots of time. And um, yeah, so good. So let's go on to created recipes and I'll show you where to find that. When you're in the all, in your collections, my recipes uh, collections, you can see here, created recipes. It's kind of hiding in there. Let's click on that. And you get to create 100 recipes of your own at this point. Now, these can be your own recipe. They can be an adaptation of a cookie do recipe. Or they can be an import from the recipe community. So I've done a bit of both here. I've imported um, Edna's lemon curd tea cake from the recipe community. Some of these are my own that I had uploaded to the recipe community. Um, this one is even my own photo, so you can put your own photos in. <laughs> that one was still warm when I iced it, clearly. Um, <laughs> very yummy. This is a popular one from the recipe community. Um, so we can actually put our own recipes in. This one I created myself, so I just typed it in. 
and it's a dairy-free creamy pasta sauce. Look at that. You can pretty much see what goes into it. Um, so that I just made a real simple recipe, put it in. Um, so what else is in there? This is a real popular KFC crispy fried chicken. Um, that's from the recipe community, recipe community I've imported. And this particular one here, the sushi is from Cookie Do. And I just changed it a little bit. I added some eggs because I wanted to cook some eggs on top of the rice. So I literally changed it. So I'm going to show you how to do all three um, very briefly. And if you need further help, you can watch the recording back <laughs> or you can ask your consultant or ask me or ask in our chat group. So hopefully all of you guys are in our Flying Flamingo chat group. Um, if not, I'll pop it in the chat box later. Let's bring up, let's bring up recipe community. We might start from there. Just move away my Zoom pictures. <laughs> so recipecommunity.com.au. If you're new to Thermomix, you might not know this website. It's our old website before Cookie Do, and it was used with the TM31, our manual Thermomix. And um, anyone can upload a recipe here. It's um it's a lovely one as well. It's just not as user friendly as Cookie Do I find um in terms of searching. However, there are stacks of recipes, so you might find ones in here that you can't find on Cookie Do. So, for instance, does anyone have a favourite already that they know in recipe community? If so, shout it out or put it in the chat box. Um, lunchbox pizza scrolls. Um, what shall we look up? I pretty much put in most of the ones that I wanted to. Um, 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 um. <laughs> let's put, let's search up a muesli bar. I don't know how to spell muesli, by the way. Um, muesli bar. Because I'm looking for a good muesli bar recipe. Um, so I typed in muesli bar and you can see votes and you can see who made it as well. Five votes. You can, there's comments as well, which is really good. Two stars, maybe not that one. Muesli bars. This one looks all right. It's got four and a half stars and 29 votes. Rustic. That one's got five, almost five stars. So let's just have a little look in and then we're going to add one of them to Cookie Do and then it will be on my screen. There's that one. It looks a little bready from the picture um looks nice um ingredients let's look at that other one that got five stars i'm kind of i think i'm looking for one a bit crunchier interesting yeah that one looks more like what i'm looking for rice bubbles oats honey yeah excellent so then you can see this little green icon here add to cookie do let's press it on your phone i've noticed it uh, my phone anyway, it does add it straight into Cookie Do. Here it looks like it's trying to sign me into Cookie Do again, which is okay. There we go, we're signed in. The other thing you could do is you could copy and paste. So I'm going to grab that link, get rid of the Zoom thing again. There we go, grab the link. So this is another way. So you could press add to Cookie Do or you could grab the link and go to my recipes, created recipes, and then the green little plus here is plus. So I'm going to import a recipe, then I'm going to pop the little URL. So just be take note that we can't import somebody's recipe, like someone, who, if they've got a blog or a website, for instance, Skinny Mixes is very popular, we can't take their recipe and put it into Cookie Do because they own their recipe. Um, if you find it in the recipe community and it's very similar, you could add that. Um, but we just can't actually uh, copy a recipe from someone's book or someone's blog. Um, you can adapt them and change them to your likings and, and put that in. But just, yeah, just a bit of a disclaimer there. So there you go. It's come in in two, three seconds. It's got the image. You could change the image. You could have a picture of you eating your muesli bar. <laughs> um, and look at that. The ingredients have come in. 
the steps have come in. So there's a tiny bit of editing you, you guys need to do at this point. Um, and what we'll do is we'll, pre we'll press on the little button, the little pencil button, and you can change the ingredients too. If you find that you need more honey, less honey, um, for instance, this one, I'm going to write, I'm going to change it to coconut sugar because I always use coconut sugar, coconut sugar. There we go. Tick. And I'll leave the rest as it is. Five grams. I could change that to a teaspoon, whatever. All right, over here in the prep steps, you can do it from your phone as well. It can be a little trickier uh, from the phone, but uh, I've done it from both. And I, um, but when you're first doing it, it might be best to do it on a computer. All righty. So what we're going to do is just program it so that when, when it comes um, into our TM6, then we've got the scales and the um, time, temperature, speed already preset. So what we're going to do, combine three minutes. So what I'm going to do is click just here before the word three, three minutes, 60 degrees, speed two. Click on your blade icon and then type that in. Three minutes, is it 60 degrees, speed two. Speed two. And now do the tick. Um, you'll notice that it's now bolded what we typed in, but it's also got the original stuff, which you're going to delete. We want everything bolded and we know that it's going to be programmed in our Thermomix. Now let's just double check. Usually we can only then heat, huh? then heat for three minutes. Is that again? Oh, you have aroma. Okay. I think we can only have one program but I might be incorrect just to say before we would only let us have one program per um per step but let's just give it a go and see if it's going to let us to do another one three minutes usually I just do one program per step scroll down a little down speed two all right let's tick that Okay, it has led us, so that might they might have um, changed that. Hopefully, hopefully on the Thermomix it lets you do all that as well. The two programs. I'm a bit curious because um, usually each step only has it'll have one blade, and you press on the blades, and it will bring up the program. A little bit. I'm a little bit concerned there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a step and um, I just want one program per step. So I'm going to grab that sentence, cut it and I'm going to paste it in here. So you're literally writing your own recipes and I'm going to then bring that step up to above step three. So I'm going to grab it and bring it up. So that it's it says that it's a separate step, and then we won't get in any strife. Um, and I'll check that later to see if you can do two programs per step. So it was add add butter, honey, sugar, and combine, and then heat. Add all remaining ingredients. Now you can also let's just press done. You can also program your scales. So let's go in there again. I'm just clicking near the butter. I'm going to hit scales. So for me, what I want to do, oops, link, add ingredients. Okay. No. Um, all right. So what I'm going to do is press um, add. So let's add the butter. And you can see it's bolded. So it would say add butter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in there and I want to actually, so in the top line is what will appear on your Thermomix. The bottom square is what will appear next to your scales. So I want it to say butter, honey, sugar, and vanilla. Vanilla. Um, I want it to say that. And near my scale, I want it to say 60 grams of butter, 50 grams of coconut sugar. So we're going to be able to just tear it in between. 
how much honey? 80 grams of honey. Um, brown sugar, coconut sugar. I'm getting a bit confused now. <laughs> honey, so butter, honey, sugar. So we've done butter, coconut sugar, honey, vanilla, five grams of vanilla, five grams of vanilla, a teaspoon. So I'm going to press tick. And you can see that's bolded butter, honey, sugar, and vanilla. Just going to delete that other stuff because it's a double up in words. So you can actually write whatever you want. You can write a funny message to your kids or your, or your family members. <laughs> this is what's going to come up on the screen. And when you press your scale on your screen, then it's going to show what you've popped in there. Um, there we go. So heats are there, bolded, that's bolded, that's bolded. That means it will it'll program properly. Add all remaining ingredients and combine counterclockwise operation. So counterclockwise operation, that's come in from recipe community and that means um, reverse. Let's just see this one. Importing recipes from recipe community doesn't allow guided cooking. Yes, it does. Yep, you got a program. That's right, Celeste. So we it will have be guided. So this little 10 minutes now will mean that it's all going to be programmed. It looks slightly different, but it's pr pretty good, pretty similar. So we're going to do one minute reverse speed one. All right, so I'm going to put my cursor in front of the one. I'm going to program by pressing the blades. And I'm going to write one minute reverse. Reverse there. And what was that speed one? One minute. And let's just press tick. One minute counterclockwise, which is reverse speed one. So let's delete that. We've just programmed it. And we hit tick. Press mixture, 30 minutes. Okay, cool. So <laughs> I'm going to write confirm. I'm going to tick on confirm. And I'm going to give that a go um, soon, probably this week. Um, so I can add that to my shopping list. I'm going to hit done. Um, this will show up um, now on my TM6 screen. We can hit add to shopping list. I'm going to do add to my week. I've got very, um, let's try. We've already got some muesli bars. So I'm going to add it to the weekend. Um, Sunday, hit save. There we go. So I've popped it into my calendar. Oh, the chocolate chip. I'm going to add that to Sunday as well. So just remembered that one. Go, and then the kids will have their snacks. So that was the first uh, option. What I want to do secondly is show you how to change a cookie do one. So for instance, um, for instance, banana bread. Um, I might change mine, doesn't really matter, but um, you could change it um, and change the sugar. Let's do that. Let's do this one. So whatever recipe it is that you like in cookie do, but you like to change it a bit and you want your family to do it the way you want it to be done. Um, good for old family favourite recipes. I imported yesterday, couldn't work out why it wasn't guided. Yeah, perfect, Celeste. I'm glad you learned something. And it can be a little fiddly when you're first trying to edit them but do it on your computer, it will be easier. This is how you change a cookie do one. So say there's something you want slightly changed or you want some, some broccoli and whatever else added to a main dish, you can do that and then it'll come up like that. Um, so for instance, you'll just grab the, grab the URL, so the address, go back to my recipes, Go back to created recipes and we're back in here. So I'm going to hit plus and I'm going to hit import again. Paste, import. And that's going to come up just like our cookie do recipe, but you can change what you want. So if this was a main meal and you wanted no chilies, get rid of the chilies, <laughs> add more garlic, add some broccoli, whatever you want to do. What I'm going to do is change that to coconut sugar. So not sugar and I'll decrease that a little bit. Um, 
bananas, butter, eggs, flour, baking powder. Good. I'm going to leave it at that. Oh, chopped chips. We're going to add chopped chips. <laughs> 100 grams, 60 grams, I don't know, 60 grams of chopped chips. And then tick. <laughs> so you can see it's already pre-programmed because it was a cookie dough recipe. So that's awesome. Um, let's see what this is. Caster sugar. So I'll just change that to coconut. I like using coconut sugar and we'll decrease that one right down to um, 75 because we've added the chopped chips as well. There we go. Let's hit tick. Um, and we're going to add the chopped chips right at the end. Add eggs and chopped chips. And I'm going to put a scale in to that. Um, how much did I say? Was it 60? 60 grams of chopped chicken. And we might need more. <laughs> we might need 100. <laughs> there we go. Chopped chips. And that's going to be in there. There we go. I'm going to get rid of the non bolted So that should work. Speed four, it might crush up my chopped chips a little. I could change that to reverse. I'm going to change that to reverse to look after those chopped chips I've put in. <laughs> So if you need help with adapting, if you're brand new at Thermomix and you need help and you can't think of it as quickly as I might be able to think of it or your consultant, just reach out to your consultant and we can come up with some ideas on how to adapt your favourite recipe. And let's look at that now uh, at how to create your own. So we're going to hit create recipe. Um, and <laughs> I don't actually have an example ready, but... um. For instance, or, or something. So, if you've got a, fa a favorite, like from grandma or your mom, or you know, you've got a favorite you've seen in a magazine, you want to adapt it a little bit and put it in a Thermomix language, you can actually put it in here. Um, and <laughs> I don't know what to do. Any suggestions, anyone? Pumpkin soup? I don't know. Pancakes. Pancakes. All right. But I really like the one in cookie dough. <laughs> Let's just, um, we'll do pancakes just for fun. Thanks, Jamie. Here There's here. no chocolate chips in that recipe, though. <laughs> no chocolate chips in the pancakes. <laughs> we might have to do something about that. <laughs> Let's. You can click an image or you can do that later. So once you've got a picture of you eating the pancakes, <laughs> then you can put it in. And here we're going to add ingredients. So you would put your ingredients so um let's just do flour we probably need a quantity so 200 grams of flour so you would pop in your your things um the crepes recipe i can almost remember from years ago um let's do milk five that has heaps of milk and not much uh, i think it was like four eggs something like that uh, and we want some sugar let's do 30 grams of sugar and what else do we need, guys, and pancakes? <laughs> vanilla. Hey? Yeah, vanilla. Vanilla. Uh, we want one teaspoon of vanilla. Do we need anything else? I think that's almost it for the crepes, but you might want baking powder if it, or oil. You need some oil or butter. Should we put some butter? I don't know how much. Maybe like this. And we'll tick. So you can write down your ingredients and hopefully you'll have a recipe that you're referring to and then you'll literally just write the steps. So um, you could say weigh in, weigh in all ingredients or you could do um, there we go, weigh in all ingredients um, and combine for 20 seconds. A, um, speed four, speed four, yep. Now, um, and then we'll scrape it down and re it. And that's pretty much all we'll, all we'll do for our pancakes. But what you're going to do is weigh in all ingredients. So I'm going to put my cursor in front of all ingredients and I'm going to hit scales. And then I'm going to pop in the flour. I'm going to go back to the scales. I personally like to put all of them in together 
so that they're going to appear on the screen next to your scales all listed. And then I just tear, add the next, tear, add the next. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on the word 200 grams of flour and then get rid of that because I don't want it listed there. So I'm just going to do flour because it's going to be listed near my scales. And I don't want to press next, next, next for each of these ingredients. So you're going to save time if you do it this way. Let's do flour. Oops. I'm going to type, change that to all ingredients. That's what's going to appear on my screen. And down here in the little second box, that's where I'm going to list everything. 500 grams of milk or eggs this is funny i haven't done crepes for years but i reckon it's almost almost got the recipe sugar one teaspoon of vanilla i'm just putting a comma in between putting in butter or olive oil putting a comma in between and they're all going to appear next to my scales when that step is is up you can tap on your scales and that will show up I'm going to press tick and I'm going to delete the bold, the, the not bold, the not bold. <laughs> you want to keep the bold. So now it says weigh in all ingredients. That's what will appear on your screen. And then they'll all be listed there. When you click on it, sorry, they'll all be listed there. You can see it. Tick. I'm now going to make this bold or program. So let's click on the blades. So 20 seconds, so I'm going to put 20 seconds. Temperature, no temperature, speed four, speed four, and hit tick. Now it's bold, I'm going to get rid of that, not bold. And I'm going to hit tick, and then I'm going to add a step, and I'm going to hit, I'm going to say repeat if necessary. Scrape down and repeat. And then I'm going to hit tick. And then I'm going to be like, cook your pancakes. <laughs> cook, cook your crepes. <laughs> Whatever you want to write. Um, tick. Now, that was a very simple one. Just so you know, if you're creating your own, you can't. we can't access the dough, the dough modes at the moment. They are, they've just brought them in if you're importing um, a dough recipe and it's programmed um, from cookie do and from the recipe community, I th it should come in, but we can't add it at the moment to our own recipes. So those added features will be coming as will um, recipe scaling. So that means um, if there's a recipe for two, we'll be able to change it to a four recipe or a six recipe or eight recipe. So that will be recipe scaling. I'm not exactly sure what that will look like, but that's coming as well in Cookie Do 3.0. Um, let's just hit tick. Um, here, these three dots, always look at the three dots. That gives you more things to do, change order or delete. Um, and there's your plus button. So once you're happy, you can hit confirm. You can go back in later and you can change I'm going to change up to crepes <laughs> for starters because it's not pancakes. Confirm. And you can pop a photo in later as well. You can jump in on your phone and whack in the photo as well. Um, and that's there. And you can then add it to your shopping list, edit the recipe, delete the recipe, add it to your week. So... That was the three options we did. We did the cookie do one, which we changed a little bit and we imported from recipe community, which was over here. Um, have a look around recipe community. If you can't find something in cookie do, or if you hear of favorites that others are sharing online, um, have a look at the recipe and you could import it into cookie do. I've talked rapidly for, for ages. Does anyone have any questions? <laughs> good for old family favorite recipes exactly now another disclaimer once you've popped your own family favorite recipe in there cookie do um could technically use your recipe and put it in one of their cookbooks just so you know um i think when we put our own recipes in then we are giving 
approval for Thermomix cookie dough to use our recipes. So if you've got a secret secret one in your own restaurant or something, you might not want to put it in there um, because you, it, they might end up using it in one of, their, one of their collections if they really like it. <laughs> yeah. So that's all the, the disclaimers. Share screen. Let's share that once more. Um, any other last minute questions before we finish up? Or any more questions about cookie do 3.0? Hopefully that was useful. And if cookie do is new for you, um, hopefully that wasn't too overwhelming with creating your own. So this is saying the new four modes in created recipes from now on when importing, oh, there we go, importing cookie do recipes. So not recipe community by the sounds. You, you will be able to use dough, blend, turbo and warm up. So they're bit by bit, they're adding extra modes. This is really good if you've got a favourite recipe that you want to tweak. You might want to put pesto through your dough and you want to add that to your favourite recipe. Um, what's this one? Triple tested. Mm, cookie dough recipes. Yeah. So there's lots of information in there. And there's actually some little um, how-to sessions as well um, on how to use it if you'd like some more, some more help. Uh, but if there wasn't any other questions, hopefully that was useful. <laughs> and um, as you all know, um, we have a, a chat group that might be where you, you heard about tonight. Um, if you're not in the chat group, I can, I can send it to you, but hopefully you all are flying from, if you type in flying Thermingo, um, Thermi chat group, you should be able to find it in Facebook and we can let you in if you're not already in there. Now, Karen says, how will we get the recording of your instructions? So I might stop recording now and